What is up, Poke Brawlers? Welcome back to the Poke Ring. Today, I have a Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box Soul Galeo. And as you can see, I'm not in my normal spot that I typically film at. I'm still trying to figure out what place is the best place. Right now, there might be a lot of ambient sound. Uh, as you can see over there in the corner, I have my uh, display flying around a little bit. I have my nephew over, and so I decided to film this outside on our deck under our nice awning but anyway you're not here for that you're here for this the sun and moon elite trainer box now as we know these are getting either reprinted or re-released um i didn't check so this one still says 2017 it doesn't have any update on that number right there it says 2017 however this one um i got for the regular msrp but this one with the tag this sticker right here set this one at 20 bucks, which is what I picked up. And I think that these ones are still ringing up at $40. I'm not certain. One of them rung up as $22. The other one rung up as like $25, I think. I don't know what's going on with Walmart. But I know that these are still on the secondary market for about $37, $38. Bucks. So they're right on point for the hobby. Now the reason why I'm opening this ETB versus this one back there is if you hear whatever piece was supposed to be in here to prevent things from moving around is not there so it's slapping those cards all up in there so I want to see if this one has a tag on it because it was returned but because I love having a nice collection of ETBs that are colorful I didn't oh my gosh why can't I not open this there we go I didn't open it until I had another ETB because I didn't want to open my only one and then not be able to find it. That makes sense. Get that plastic out of here. So, like every ETB, it comes with your nice card list so you can see the new cards for the series. This was introducing uh, all of the base set for Gen 7. Um, and even brought in the Alolan, like as you can see, Alolan Persian, or Alolan Meowth has to go to Alolan Persian. Meowth can't go to Alolan Persian because of Alola. Just like with the Dark and Light mechanic that was brought back and, or brought in, uh, introduced into the series, and I think 2000 was when Light and Dark was there. Poliwhirl, my favorite, this channel's mascot. Now the cards I'm looking for today uh, are pretty, they're on the rise, as we all know, the Ultra Ball has absolutely gone through the roof now i had a chance to buy this two weeks ago for 15 dollars, and i thought you know what let me drop it let me wait till it drops a little bit more because it had just gone from 19 dollars to 15 i was gonna wait until it had about 13 14 and then buy it as of yesterday when i checked this was 54 dollars. why because ultra bowl is back in rotation um so that's gonna be a little bit harder to find until it's out of rotation again uh, so for me, I like, as I've said before, I like collecting shiny Pokemon as well as Pokeballs, and there are three in this set, and then two energy. Now, I believe I already have this switch. Uh, I have to double check my binders, because I don't look at them as much as I used to, but if I can get any of these three, or any of these five, I will be a happy boy, especially if it's this one. Now, no matter what, oh, see, look at that. Oh, so it was the energy and... They forgot to tank this guy over. It's not... Oh, it's not even... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it was just the paper itself was wrong. That is lovely. I like the way that that looks. All right, so we've got some classic dividers. Perfect. Big stack of energy. You know what? That's for whoever wants it. I don't use this at all. Just so I remember for me. Those are beautiful sleeves. That's really nice. I really like that orange. You know, I had a chance a couple years ago as well. I found both um, the Lunala and the Solgaleo at a party city here. Um, and they were all on sale for um, 20 bucks for the booster boxes. But I was like, nah, or for the uh, ETBs. But I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. that. That's not really a set I want to collect. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, can I find them for $20? Whoa, that is a cool gx i've never opened one of these before this is so cool this is so cool all right let's check our packs one two three four five six seven eight got eight packs all right 
Oh. Don't know if you can see that. Huh. The glue... Mm. I think these might be resealed. Yep, I think that these have been resealed. Look at the glue on that. Look at that's on everything, top and bottom. Yeah, these... Uh, these might have been resealed. Well, let's do the check. One, two, three, four. Darkness. Corsola. Grubbin. Growlithe. Poplio. Wingall. Surskit. Okay, a Lolan Muck, Reverse Rare. You know, maybe not. Because even if these were resealed, Reverse Rares from this set are still like 5 to 10 cents. So I don't know if they would be... Huh. Did I pick up... Well, you know, see, in moments like this, when I think that I've picked up a resealed pack, I would rather that I pick this up, because I would hate for a parent to spend their money um, to buy this product for a kid and then someone through their greediness has wow look at that print line that's a huge crease right down it nice that's going to my miscut um, and see another reverse rare that's so weird that's so weird um, but like I was saying I would much rather that I pick up the product that was resealed um, because I don't want a kid to not have grass or electric. Polywhirl, oh man, we'll put him right back there. Uh, to open up a product that someone has stolen from. Um, I don't think that that is fair. I don't think that that is very cool for anyone to do. At the end of the day, as much as this is a hobby for me, I have given product out of my hand. Um, that's so weird. I'm going to start putting these back here. Uh, I've literally taken product out of my hand and out of my cart to give to a parent because there wasn't enough Pokemon or I had the last of, like when Hidden Fates was around, um, I picked up, uh, I had two ETBs in my cart and the parent was there with their kid and they were really looking forward to getting Hidden Fates. I heard them talk about it and, um... You know, I heard him be like, oh, you know, there's no Pokemon cards. So I turned around and I handed and I gave them one of my ETBs because I hadn't purchased them yet. And I was like, you know what? Uh, this is far more for you than it is for me. Cloister. So I wanted to make sure that they got their product. So, yeah, I've, I've definitely purchased resealed stuff and it's really hard to convince um, any shop worker that it's been resealed, I have yet to ever get a refund for a reseal. But at the end of the day, the hobby is for kids. This is just for fun for me. If something happened and I was never able... Oh, Dragonite. Nice. This one, my wife destroys me with her Dragonite deck with this still. All the time. Um, we're gonna pop them right back there. Um, but yeah, I've never been able to return a resealed product and been able to... Uh, you know, deal with that. Because again, at the end of the day, this is for kids, and I'm totally fine with that. I just enjoy opening Pokemon cards. Oh, look at that. That one evolves into that one. Nice. Anyway, moving forward, because I keep uh, losing focus. So, yesterday, for when I'm filming this, the Pokemon Celebration drop happened, and a hey, Vicavolt, nice. Well, that's our two holo hits for the box. We got two more packs. All right. Uh, I'm going to say the Decidueye will be last. Um, but yeah, that drop happened, and I completely forgot about it. And Pokemon needs to stop um, only releasing such a limited amount of pre-orders. Because within an hour, everything that they had for celebrations was just gone. And, you know, as, as a company who... Well, yes, a lot of things are coming into the store. Nice. Another miscut. Can you see that? 
I don't know if you can really see it, but there's like a huge ink line right down the middle. <gasps> and a lily full art. Are you kidding me? This is definitely not resealed. Look at that. Draw until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw until you have eight cards in your hand. Wow. Man, I miss... Whoa, and there are... Well, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I've never seen this card in person. You can kind of see off the camera the accents right there, the little circles. The texture goes in a different direction, so you can see... Wow. My gosh, that is beautiful. It has a little nick at the top. I think that might be for me. Let's check the back. Bye, Mr. Fly. Pretty good centering. Um, I would say, oh, you know, there's some scruff there on the surface. I would say at best this would be a PSA 9, maybe an 8 because of that scruff off-center. Um, that ink's a little smudged down there. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't know that card was in the set. Wow. That's beautiful. But yeah, um, Pokemon Celebrations is coming out, and please, please, please... Do not buy anything from a secondhand site that's going to sell you product at a ridiculous amount. It is not worth it. Um, this product is in its first wave and is going to be reprinted. So it comes out in October. First reprint is in November. Last reprint is in December minimum. If this is going to be like Hidden Fates or Evolutions, they're just going to keep printing it. So do not worry about that, my friends. So we have Toko tomorrow and ending on... Oh, a beefy, beefy, butterfree. That one's so cute. Look at her. She is hanging out with her friends in the forest. Awesome. So, this wasn't a resealed box. I thought it might have been, just from the way the glue was on there. And we got this beautiful Lily full art. Can't wait to add this to my full art page. I think it's supposed to be just part of the card, that little nick there. I don't know. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Polka Gloves. You're here in the poker ring, and I cannot wait to see you next time. Take care, friends. Bye.